it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be working on my map again. Uh, after I finished recording the last video, uh, I added this shed in <clears throat> right here, and then I added in this stack of bales. Um, the reason I put this stack of bales here is, one, this farm has a couple of haystacks in it, so... That's one reason, but also because um, I'm going to set up a sell point on this map so that, you know, like if I want to make a little extra money, I can cut road ditches or waterways uh, and make hay out of it or cut or bale straw, I mean, and make a little extra money. So what we're going to work on right now is getting a sell point. Uh, I have the in-game Westbridge Hills map uh, opened up here uh oh <laughs> uh, and we're going to grab the bale cell point or bale cell trigger off of here if my giants editor will respond again uh, while we wait for that to respond goodness Uh, we will get Google Earth fired up, I think. <laughs> so yeah, we got all the bins here. Um, geez. Evidently everything is not responding. Well, that's dumb. Encoding overloaded. I don't see how. Okay, well, let's just, uh... Cancel. Never mind. No! Dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, then. Um, let's redo this, then. Map 02. So let's try this again here. So we need open shed tip trigger. I um, think that's what I want. Bill cell trigger. We will export this. Nope. The selection, not all. We'll go desktop. Sell. Okay, so we can close that now. Close that. Bring this up. And we can fire that back up. So, uh, we're also going to be working with more trees. As fun as that sounds. Um, so we have that bale spot, and then we're going to add a corral, and a couple of buildings, and then a bunch of trees, large trees, and then we have some small trees. Uh, oh, the dice. Okay. That's the, uh, dice farm. Okay, here we go. File, import... I need to move that to models first. We'll put that in details. So we'll cut that and we'll put it here underneath of one of the straw bale stacks. No, we won't. We'll just put it in the Misk Farms spot okay so I'm basically gonna make one for each stack so you'll basically drive right up to the stack and then it'll sell
there we go so we got us some bail cell triggers so now it's time for us to add the corral system thing for whatever reason my screen seems really dim again don't know what the deal is with that either anyhow um, we need to get a gate so let's find some gate panels yeah that's not gonna work at all is it nope Okay, um, I need to find barbed wire. And I know exactly where to find that, if I can find, there we go. I want modern American farming map. Um, and there was another farm, or another map, I guess. Maybe not. Um. I will also do that map because there is some stuff on there that I want as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our barbed wire. Or actually, do I have barbed wire in here somewhere, I wonder? Details. Um, uh, that's an anhydrous facility. Highway. Okay, so we'll just find barbed wire on modern American farming map. Um, you have got to be kidding me. Okay. We'll see if... No. Oh, I know why I'm using the wrong Giants Editor. Duh. This is FS13 map, not the 15 one. That would be why it's crashing. There we go. Okay. Barbed wire. Fence. Okay, file, export selection, desktop, barbed wire. Now we'll uh, figure out where we need to go to find our textures. that back up I guess so we have map models objects my underscore fence texture we'll just copy this texture folder here put that there bam bam Remove all that. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Just like that.
Okay, so now we need to look on this map here. I need to see if I can find the kind of thing I'm looking for. We shall find out. Shouldn't take too long for this to load. Oh man, I used the wrong Giants editor again. I'm so used to always just clicking the top one. So when I use five, the version five, that goes to the top. So then I try and use it for when I need version six, and it does not work. Now it shouldn't take long. <laughs> There we go. Okay. See if we can find what we want. Um. That's not really what I wanted. Whoa, a lot of pieces to that. Tell me that's it. Okay. So we have... Well, actually we don't need that. All that I need is a fence panel. Something like one of these. Actually, I remember I had downloaded a fence panel. Hmm. Maybe I already put that in there. Okay, we can just use a piece from that. So we need our barbed wire fence in here. Alright, so we need to create a transform group, open up our attributes tab. Go like that. Take that and put it in details, which is right there. And we'll go just like that. We'll start there, we'll build a little uh, thing, we're going to smooth this out a lot more. Just to get a nice smooth area for their cattle. Perfect. Now we will just uh, have at it, I guess. Oh, 
Whoops. I want the whole fence, not just the post. Now is where it's going to start getting fun. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this spot's not such a good idea. And actually, in reality, I think that the f thing would actually be up here a little more anyways. Let's start right here at this corner. Then we need the alley. Which is where now? Oh, round shoot. Totally was missing that. Uh, we need to spin that around. I think we got it now. Perfect. Now if we put that like that, then we can take this and we can duplicate that and spin it. do this one. Maybe if I just go like this. Push it back here. Up against the gate. That'll work. Cool. <clears throat> so we take this one and go ahead and spin it around. And we can push this one up against there. Okay. So now we'll work over a little ways, I guess, and... It's not not that big actually. 
and then they do have more back there. This isn't going to be exact, it just, I kind of want to add a little bit of cattle spot, cattle space, since, you know, there's that big stack of bales there. Just kind of makes sense, I guess, if that even makes sense. Okay, we'll go one more here, and then we'll turn and go off in the distance. Zippo. Actually, let's go like this first. Then we'll go to the previous, and we actually don't even need to adjust anything. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Needs to go up just a little bit. Fences are one of my least favorite things to do because there's so much stuff you have to do. You have to sit and move each one, then you go back and move it again, and oh, it's such a pain in the butt to do, especially on hills like this. I don't want blender. So it goes up by them. Okay. Like I said, this isn't going to be exact. I'm um, just kind of adding some stuff in, I guess. So then if I take this fence and go up a little ways. Okay. Let's get some trees here. And then we're going to get some gravel as well. Square, and we'll just go with five. Put that at one, I guess. go so now if we switch this over to grass then we can get rid of the unneeded grass and we're also getting rid of some straw which is an easy fix so we'll just go wheat windrow eight This needs to be trapped. There we go. Actually, I think we'll just kind of add this all around these bales. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to add some trees. What in the world did I just do? <sighs> I know there's an easier way to do this. 
I'll have to figure it out later, I guess. Um, so for now, I guess we'll just kind of go with duplicate and that. I'll have to look it up again after this video. A buddy of mine told me what you got to do. I'll just send him a quick message. Ah, uh, whatever. He'll get what I mean. So we got that started. We need to build up our fence going this way so that way we know where to stop. So yeah, once I finish recording this video, I'm going to uh, try and get my C30 in gamed. Um, buddy of mine's truck, uh, the truck that we're using on dad's farm, the Chevy 2500, um, he has pretty simple scripting on his truck. So I think what I'm going to do is just use his scripting or maybe even overlay my model on top of his or something. I don't know yet. Probably might just overlay it because then it's um, a little bit easier. I can just adjust things, re-index things, which would be a whole lot easier than um, just trying to copy and paste what I need. I can just delete what I don't need and just re-index everything. Not sure how far I want to go. Yeah, this probably isn't all that fun to watch either, really. But, uh... It's what I'm going to be doing a lot of video on. Uh, I'm going to call a couple of places today or... Well, today, I guess. Because today's already Friday. Um, call a couple of places today and see... I didn't just duplicate twice, did I? No. And see if I can figure out what's going on with my computer. Um, maybe it just needs a good cleaning. You know, like both program scanning kind of clean. And also, you know, like clean, clean. 
uh, I don't know. I'm not a PC specialist guy in any way. So I'll leave that to the pros. Um, but just see if I can find a place where they'd be willing to take a look at it. And, uh, but till then, I'm going to be focusing a lot on projects. Um, yeah, I said this before, so. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this fence. And, um, while I do that, this video is going to sit and render, um, out of shotcut. Or sit and export out of shotcut. And then uh, I'm going to finish these and then try and get uh, the C30 in game. And then also uh, work on some other projects. Uh, try and get that uh, Ram 3500 finished. Um, yeah, that's a fun project as well. So I'm going to call it a video here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my video schedule, links to my social medias, the link to my mod site, links to other cool YouTube channels are worth taking a look at as well. Make sure to turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And... Uh, be sure to check out all the other videos on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.